Hey everyone, this is Jake Clark from Fargo 3D Printing. What I'm going to be showing you today is how to fix a filament clog in your MakerBot Replicator 2 extruder nozzle. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to preheat and start preheat. If everything's set to factory defaults on your machine, it'll preheat to 230 degrees C. Now wait for the printer to get up to 230 degrees C. Once it gets there, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go up to your filament and you want to grab your filament with your left hand and then push down with your right hand on the black drive gear block. What that's going to do is that's going to release that bearing away from the drive gear. You're going to push down on the filament until you see some plastic hopefully melting out of your nozzle pull up quickly on that filament as what that'll do is it'll grab that clog in the nozzle and pull that through the uh, thermal barrier to back up and out so that you can actually clip it off. What you're going to want to do is once you've done that once clip the end so you got a nice clean end go back in push down quick pull back out clip it push back in pull out do that about two to three times and if it doesn't work at 230 what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to info and settings preheat settings and change the temperature bump it up to 250 degrees the next thing you're going to want to do is repeat the steps that you did at 230 with the push down and pull out really quick do that again about four to five times and then hopefully at this point you should be seeing some filament come out of the nozzle it should be drooling is the term if you don't see any filament coming out of the nozzle what you'll want to do next is go back into info and settings go back into preheat settings and bump that up to 260 degrees. Now you're not going to want to exceed 260 degrees as this could potentially melt some of the plastic components and damage your MakerBot extruder head. Once it's preheated up to 260 degrees you'll want to repeat that process of pushing it down and pulling it out quickly another three to five times. Now hopefully at 260 the nozzle is clear and you can start printing again. If there's still no filament coming out of the nozzle, there's a good chance that your nozzle is clogged and it will need replacing. If the nozzle is clear, what you'll want to do is you'll want to go back into Info and Settings, Preheat Settings, and change your preheat setting back down to 230 degrees. That way it doesn't go back up to 260. Alright, so your MakerBot Rep 2 extruder is now extruding filament. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to do about a 10 to 15 minute test print to make sure that everything's working properly. If your MakerBot Replicator 2 extruder is still not extruding filament properly, make sure you go to our website www.fargo3dprinting.com and either purchase some of our spare parts to fix that or contact us and we can help walk you through how to fix your extruder nozzle. Go to our website www.fargo3dprinting.com and go to the contact us page. Thanks everyone for watching. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you put those down below. Otherwise, for Fargo 3D Printing, this is Jake Clark. Make sure you get printing, stay printing, and change the world.